Stu here with Raid Shadow Legends. I wanted to go over some concerns that I've read about players posting over the last six months about the game. Let's see what my list has right here. Player deals. It seems like player deals in this game, everybody gets a different deal. They're not the same. Um, a lot of players have been unhappy about this or if they spend money they post their deals online and they're they're more expensive every time they get a deal thereafter and the deals aren't as good people want to get the same deals they want to see that everybody's receiving the same type of deals and if you don't want to do that if you want to do a variable deal maybe give make sure it's, you give it to everybody give everybody the option of a deal that has a lower tier deal a middle tier deal and then a higher tier and make sure you know as you spend more money the deals better i don't know why but the game has a really bad way of giving you deals <laughs> it's crazy i know you've seen it if you've played if you posted to anybody in discord or on reddit you've seen it the game's been out long enough now too that i think we can we can get some level up mats. Basically level up mats are just like, um, it would be a max level three star or a max level five star, and then all you, or four star, I'm sorry. And then all you do is take other four star, they can be level one, four star level one champions, add it to that four, max four star mat, and it gives you a five star. Then you convert it into a five star um, material mat so that you can make another six star champion. Um, a lot of games have that. They give it to you through events. They give it to you through, through dungeon drops. You can get a three star and then add a whole bunch, you know, you add three level one, three stars, uh, three star champions to it to make a, four, a level one, four star mat. Um, balancing, this game needs a lot of balancing. Balancing, you know, really gets the community going. It gets people back into the game. If you balance, even if you balance it and the, and the hero, the champion isn't amazing afterwards, it still gets people back into the game, trying that champion out, trying to do uh, more things in game. And it just, it, it's just, it's, it's fun. You, you just have all these new balancing and this game is terrible with balancing. They really need to balance. Event requirements. For some reason, every time we have an event, it is different. It's a different requirement for the event. And then they'll also add in daily require they'll, they'll add in daily limitations to where you can this is recently to where you can only go so far in an event through a day which is it's crazy i don't know what they're trying to accomplish but every time they make it worse and worse whoever's behind it now events in all other games are obtainable and completable by everybody as long as they're logging in doing their daily stuff in this game, if you get three stars for your clan, you're doing a lot in game. You're on the game a lot. If you're doing that, you should be able to get whatever event is out there. You should be able to get those rewards. Um, let's see what we have next. Check in login rewards after 35 days. Now, for the first 35 days, there are really good rewards. And I understand they can't give you a check in another 30 day check in of rewards that are just as good. But what they should do is if you look in your missions, you look at the, the daily, the weekly and the monthly, they should take that monthly out and just do a, a monthly check in where you log in every day, you get your login reward, energy, gems, crystals, and at the 15 day mark, you get a void. And at the 30 day mark, you get an ancient instead of at 30 days of you progressing in the game, like it shows in the missions, you get a void and ancient. Just go ahead and let it be a check and reward. People are used to that for some reason. That's what they want to see. That's what I've seen everybody request. They get a really bad taste in their mouth after that 35 days of logging in and getting a login reward. And then they have nothing. So I've seen that come up a lot. Clan boss. Clan boss, whoever designed that, I, I don't know what's going on, but in the Nightmare Clan boss, and when you begin in the game, let's just take the, the Nightmare for example. If if 16 people attack the Nightmare Clan boss and do 40 million damage to get the, the ultimate chest, the best chest there is, the clan boss is down, it's dead. Nobody else can attack it. Same thing happens if you're in an early level clan and somebody downs the easy clan boss, you don't have an opportunity to, to attack it anymore and to join in with your clan and you're not strong enough to do much on the normal or something of that nature. Basically, I think I just lost really bad there. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so basically, the clan boss could have an unlimited pool. Once you once your whole clan reaches a certain amount of damage, a threshold, then you get two times chest for it and everybody can still attack that clan boss because it, it, it won't have it'll have an unlimited amount of health. It won't have a actual health. It'll just be if your clan does 500 million you get two times chess and everybody can still attack it also we need leaderboards i think leaderboards would be fantastic we could have clan leaderboards 
each week for whoever, whatever clan did the most damage for whichever clan boss. It'll give us a lot of things to be competitive about, and it will get people spending money. Let's see what we have now. This looks like a terrible matchup. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that group. Oh my god, I'm gonna die miserably. Okay, autoplay. Autoplay is in a lot of games nowadays. Skylanders has it. Uh, Overhit has it. Knights Chronicle had it back in the day. A lot of games have it. And if they don't have it, people just use em emulators. They use clickers. They go in there. You get on Knox. You tell it to like rerun every 30 seconds. Whatever you want. Android has a lot of clickers. iOS it's a little bit harder. Um, but people use them nowadays all the time. So go ahead and just introduce it into the game. Make it a, make it available to do 10 times run or anything of that nature because it really makes the game a lot better. These games are so grindy. You really need that for today for people to enjoy these games and want to get into it. Let's see what else do we have. Overhaul the tavern. The tavern needs a big overhaul. It is really, it's not intuitive at all. Oh, look at this team. I'm surprised. It's not intuitive at all to rank up, to level up your champions in there when you want to put a whole bunch of one stars or lower level heroes in there. Every time you click OK, six, it takes you to the very top. You don't, it doesn't, you have to scroll back down to get in there to, to include more mats. Maybe have some way to auto it to autofill it or do something of that nature. Something needs to be done. It needs to be overhauled. Look at other games. There's a lot of other games that make it easy and you'll see. What else do we have? Sorry guys. <laughs> oh, Arena. Arena, which I'm playing right here, caps out at 3,199. Nobody can go above 3,199. You cap out at that. Everybody's in gold, whatever it is, gold three, gold four, whatever the top is. I don't even pay attention anymore. Nobody pays attention to Arena. We need a top 100, a top 1,000 rewards, and we need to be able to see a leaderboard with those top 100 players so they can sh so they can enjoy playing the game and boast about how good they are and making top 100 in Arena every week. Leaderboards always promote spending competition in the games and for some reason this game doesn't have it all other games have it all other games have it believe me and i don't want to take away from the i don't want to take away from the rewards you're getting right now keep the rewards exactly the same way they are you will be in the same spot you are but those people that are really good and really want to compete will move up and they'll be able to get get a little better extra rewards and they'll be able to also be on the leaderboards like i said so we have world boss world bosses in other games i've seen two types of world bosses world bosses where you use a majority of your account like a total account power so you would go in there with 60 players 30 60 champions 30 champions attack the world boss daily do as much damage as you can to it to show that your total account power and then at the end of the week you would get rewards based on who did the most damage and you'd be able to see who those players are Again, just another way to promote competition and to get you building up different characters in the game, building everybody stronger, not just using a small set of, of artifacts on just a few heroes. Um, also, I've seen the other way that I've seen them do it is to have world bosses each day where they're different affinity and you take in five five champions or four champions whatever however they want to set it up to fight those bosses daily and then at the end of the week you, you would show whoever did the most damage to them that way you're 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 brainstorming you're thinking about all these different groups you want to make to attack these different affinity bosses every day and it only for us as players it doesn't take us long to fight these bosses each day and then to get you know a little bit more reward at the end of the week and then i think the last thing i have on my list is oh a tower or an abyss basically uh, dungeon boss back in the day years and years ago when I played it all the way up till today almost any gotcha game like this E7 Might Magic Elemental Garden Summoner's War um, I don't know all the rest I've played so many have some kind of tower or abyss with a hundred floors or some 70 floors something like that that resets every month and gives you rewards it's really hard in the beginning to do it you feel like you can't get very far, but then it's it's really rewarding. You build up your guys, you build up your teams, you build up your strategy to complete each of these floors that reset each month, and you get really nice rewards for it. It's a great feeling. It really adds a lot to the game, and all game a lot a lot of games have it. This game needs it. It would be so much fun in this game. I would enjoy it probably the most. 
doing that. So that's really all I've got, guys. I appreciate you for watching. If you have any ideas or things you think that should be in-game or something that I didn't touch, please leave it in the comments. I'll talk to you guys later.